Hello guys, my name is Alex and I'm a loungewear addict. So in all seriousness, uh, this video is gonna be all about loungewear. I say loungewear, I'm looking for a word that I can't find and um, it's loungewear, but also loungewear that you wear outside. <laughs> I'm talking joggers, I'm talking sweatshirts, um, just comfy clothes that really seem to be on trend at the moment to wear outside, which is just the best thing ever. Because not only do I love the style of that and, and the way that all looks, but living your best life in joggers while going about your everyday tasks is amazing and I'm glad that we are being enabled to be able to do that now. Now I don't know about you guys, but for me, my loungewear and comfies and joggers all sort of sit in one drawer and they're basically made up of things that maybe I used to wear that have holes in them, old jumpers with weird slogans, missed match items, um, and just things that aren't particularly cohesive. And I was looking at the other day, trying to organize it into something that made sense and I just couldn't. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to some new uh, loungewear and sweatshirts and joggers, which I thought I would share with you guys today. So we're having like a lounge chair active wear haul and I am just about living for this because I'm so excited. So I ordered some things from Topshop and from ASOS and I'm gonna start with the Topshop order first because I've talked about these before and they are worth mentioning over and over again. These are my favorite, favorite joggers. They cannot be beaten. They are the uh, 90s oversized jogger. So they've got that really like exaggerated elastic waistband, same down here at the ankle. And they're very sort of big and baggy around the bum and the legs and all the way down to the ankles. And I just love that fit. I think it's really relaxed and casual, but at the same time works really well if you do want to style it in a different way uh, that doesn't involve you just sort of running around the house in it. So I got these in a gray, which um, they have a few colors now. They've really kind of expanded the range. I think they are quite popular. I don't really think you can beat the gray. It's just like the original and the best. And these ones are kind of, I wouldn't say they're like a dark gray, they're almost slightly white, a really nice neutral tone. I am actually wearing a pair of these today, as you can see, but I feel like you can never get enough of a good pair of joggers. So I have a, a good rotation schedule now for when these are in the wash and I still want to wear a pair. I also wanted something uh, really casual sweatshirt wise to wear on top. So something in the same vein, like quite oversized, quite 90s style, um, the same color, so it would kind of be like a tracksuit, but also sort of stood on its own as a really good jumper as well. So I was just searching on Topshop for gray sweater, gray sweatshirt, and two came up that are absolutely identical and I couldn't choose between them. And I'm really glad that I did order both because now that I see them in real life, there is quite a difference, mainly, in the color. I'm not sure if this will translate so well on camera, but this one is a lot more kind of a cool toned gray. It doesn't look quite as nice or quite as expensive. This one is a bit more subtle. There are some warmer tones in it and it just looks to me so, so much nicer. So from the looks of things, I will be returning this one and keeping this. Uh, so these jumpers are just like really big, oversized, comfy, cozy, plain, chain sweatshirts. If I uh, unwrap this one, you can see that there isn't a lot of difference. I think the style might be ever so slightly different. This one seems to be a little bit wider and chunkier in the body and maybe has like slightly bigger cuffs and waistbands and things like that. Gone are the days of me loving like a slogan jumper or something with a logo, anything branded now. I'm, I'm just not that into it. I love myself something plain, something that doesn't pull a lot of attention and just sort of blends into an outfit. So that jumper I'm really happy with. I have to say this one is still nice if you're into like the cooler tone greys, but if I hold it up with the joggers, you can maybe see that this one is gonna be a way, way better match. And then also I got a slightly different jumper. This one is cropped and I loved the color of this. It's sort of like a really, worn, washed grey. This one's actually cropped and I thought it would be the perfect jumper to wear to the gym or I just wanna throw something on top of like leggings and a sports bra. I have to say this is my problem now. Whenever I'm sort of scrolling through places, I just kind of pass by all the other clothes and pick out all the active wear um, and like the workout wear and things like that because I'm, I guess it's just what I'm wearing a lot at the moment and it's what I want to see, it's what I'm interested in. Um, so active wear, workout wear and things like this are just, is just totally on my radar right now. I think I finally have enough leggings, one for each day of the week. Um, so yeah, this I really think is like a perfect throw over the top 
um, gym kind of jumper, as well as being very cute on its own. I know I just went on a big spiel about how I liked stuff that didn't have slogans or labels, but this one, this one kind of passes because it's just very simple in a very small, very basic plain white print. So that's all the bits I got from Topshop. And then from ASOS, I kind of went a little bit over the top and got myself a full on tracksuit. This is actually uh, from New Look and I've had a pair of New Look joggers before. They're really comfortable, really easy to wear. The slightly different thing about them is they don't have a drawstring tie here, which I don't know if I love or don't love, but they fit well and um, they are really comfy and a nice thick material. That's what I think is also quite important when looking for loungewear um, and tracksuits and joggers and things like that, is not only is the style and the shape right, uh, these ones actually are quite similar to the Topshop ones, but the material is very thick, it's not going to pull um, and go kind of oddly shaped. That is an important one too. I can't tell you how soft these feel, they're amazing. And these basically are like a white, there's a slight marl to them, um, they do have a little bit of a texture, but they basically are white. Um, I will have to find a very brave moment in which to wear these without getting them absolutely stained. A lot of people do ask me actually, how do you wear so much white? Do you not worry about getting um, stains and marks all over it? And the answer is, I don't worry about it, but it's something that still happens all the time. I'm not a particularly careful person. I think I'd even kind of border on being clumsy. Um, but you know, things wash out, stains can be removed. And you know, I think if you wanna wear something, just wear it and uh, worry later about what happens. So these joggers actually come with a hoodie. I don't really have a good basic hoodie. I'm struggling to remember if I even own a hoodie at all, which I think is terrible because it's such an essential thing in anybody's wardrobe, especially in a loungewear wardrobe. And this one just looked like the perfect thing. It actually matches. These two come in a matching set, um, although I think I ordered them separately. But they're exactly the same material and colour, um, just this really gorgeous, slightly off-white, greyish kind of colour. This is so soft. It has a big pocket here. I'm actually really excited about wearing these two together. And then I went for another cropped item as well. I thought two crop jumpers would be great. That'll have me covered um, for whenever I need them. And this one is slightly different because it does have a hood, which is always great. Whenever I find myself running up the house to go to yoga or a spin class or something and it rains, I, I never have anything on my head. Um, so these are great. Actually, I do like the cropped style um, for doing yoga especially because I find uh, when you first walk into the class, if it's not hot yoga, it can be a little bit chilly and you don't want to just strip down to have, you know, arms and legs and everything out. So I like to wear like something cropped and then halfway through, like during a down dog, usually I'll just whip it off. Um, and it's really easy to do when it's cropped. It has a raw edge at the bottom here, same as the other Topshop crop jumper. Uh, that as well, I think is also a must. Sometimes when things are hemmed and cropped, I find they just don't sit on me very well so it's almost like this has been a big oversized hoodie and someone's just taking a pair of scissors to it uh, which by the way also works if you have some old hoodies that you don't wear anymore just chop the bottom off and you instantly have like a nice cropped little number okay this is a little bit out there but I uh, especially when I'm wearing things like joggers usually I'll go for a pair of trainers with them if not always and I really like to wear quite thick white sort of sport socks. The type of socks I would never normally reach for um, I think work so well when you are wearing that kind of look. So I picked up these which are probably the most expensive pair of socks I've ever bought. They're from Calvin Klein um, and they're just a long pair of like ribbed white trainer sports socks. Normally I am 100% faithful to my Muji ankle socks even though they don't actually make them anymore so the pairs that I have are all that I'm going to get. But I wanted to see what these look like. I was intrigued and I particularly thought they would look cool with a pair of trainers that I recently picked up. I know that there are gonna be some opinions on these, but I love them. So these are from New Balance. I have a couple of pairs of New Balances. They're always like the comfiest, easiest shoes to walk in and these are the 530s. I mean, they are pretty much the ultimate, my dad would have owned these in the 80s shoes. But that is everything that I want and I'm looking for. Um, they're kind of like a cool color combination. They're basically all white, which is what I was looking for, but they have little accents of silver. The N here is actually like a shiny silver and a black sole. And I think this is a blue, maybe like a tiny little hint of blue 
in certain places. I just really like them. I like how they're laced up. I like the shape of them a lot. And oh my God, are they comfy. They are so, so nice to walk in. I've only worn these out once, but I love every second of it. So although these are not loungewear, they definitely fit the vibe of everything else that I have just showed you. First thing I have grabbed to try on is the New Look tracksuit. This is actually a little bit more fitted than I thought it would be. This hoodie isn't quite as oversized as I wanted, so maybe I'll swap it and size up into the next one up, just because I wanted that really like big, um, lots of excess room sort of vibe. Whereas this one, it fits well, but it's, you know, it fits. Same goes for the joggers, although the previous pair that I've had from New Look did actually um, get a little bit baggier the more I wore them. So maybe these ones I could stay um, in the size that I've got. I do really love the color though, and I like how these two go together a lot. I've also got the little Calvin Klein socks on, which I think I need a pair of, I don't know, shorter trousers of these, because you can't even see the logo. I also wanted to show you a few ways in which I would actually style these pieces because it's all well and good enough to say, oh, this is what I would wear out day to day without actually showing you how, because I feel like it's quite different than just going out in a tracksuit and hoodie. So for this new look two piece, I thought I'd stick to the same color palette and really go for like the neutral vibe. So I've put a trench coat on top of it. I really like how a trench coat looks with a hoodie sort of poking out of the back. This is a really, really, gorgeous long one very like a classic colored trench but the length is so good um yeah i have it on with that and obviously the new balance trainers with the calvin klein socks i think these with a the long trench also work so well love that and i've just got a very similar toned bag on with this this is a little woven bag very balenciaga inspired from top shop it's like a little neutral cream woven across body bag. And I think that's great to kind of just keep that whole neutral vibe going, tie everything in. So that is the way I would definitely go with this. I'd always wear like a big coat over the top, chunky trainers, and then throw on like a nice little handbag. So this is the second gray Topshop jumper, the one that I liked a little bit more. Um, now that I have it on, I can definitely see that, yeah, this is the one that I wanna go for. It's very like, long oversized baggy even the shoulders are like dropped down a little bit so it really has that quite oversized vibe i love the color of it i've got it on with the top shop gray joggers these ones you can see are different because they have the drawstring there they're very similar to the new look ones maybe they have like a little bit more give to them i did get both in the same size and these ones i think just have like slightly more bagginess around um the top and they're also a slightly darker shade of gray. So these two I think I would do with something like this outfit. Um, I've just got the jumper and the joggers on and then this jacket. These are great, I think they kind of work and can be styled with any type of look. There's nothing that really I have put this on top of that doesn't work. So um, exactly the same with the joggers and like their loungewear as outerwear style. Works really well. It's got like a very oversized vibe to it, which really goes along with the jumper and the joggers. And then I've uh, got like an over the shoulder bag with this. I've got my Gucci Dionysus. Something about this Gucci bag and chunky trainers. I just love the two together. Um, so that is the type of outfit that I'd wear this one with. So this one would be my kind of go-to standard gym look. I've got the ASOS cropped hoodie on, which is actually a really nice size. I like the raw hem at the bottom here. It really kind of turns up. Um, and not having the little ties and the ring pulls here at the collar, I thought I wouldn't like, but it's actually kind of, I don't know, it's like a different little style. There's something going on here. It's got quite a thick hood, but has this little detail. I like this a lot. This is the kind of like bagginess uh, that I was looking for, that nice drop shoulder and just a lot of room around here. I've got this on with my um, leggings from H&M, I think these are. Really rate this range that they do. It's like a super soft stretch material, uh, really great for running in and also doing yoga. And then I've got New Balance on with some shorter socks to go along with these. And then the bag that I would normally always, always wear with this type of outfit, which is just, you know, what I throw all my gym stuff in, a tote. I live my life carrying totes around uh, and when I'm going to the gym, it's no exception. So the last jumper is the little Topshop Copenhagen one. I thought I'd show you this with jeans because I think it makes quite a cute little outfit. Um, this again, perfect, perfect size this time. It's really got that big, oversized look to it. It's very similar actually in style to the ASOS cropped hoodie. Very similar drop shoulder, similar sleeves, 
same cut hem. The logo is minimal and simple, but I think it does add something to it. It, it just makes it a little bit different. And yeah, I've just got this on with a pair of high-waisted jeans from weekday. And this time I've got the socks kind of tucked up into the jeans, which is how I normally wear them. These jeans are so <laughs> creased. I think this actually might be one of my favorite ones. I just love the style of it and the shape. For me, it is a 10 out of 10. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different type of haul. Um, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below that I talked about um, in the info box. And yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.